So, one of the absolute best ways to start the day is breakfast. And this stall, this chicken rice stall, is my absolute favorite. It's, it's just the best. The, the chicken is super delicious. They have amazing fried chicken as well. The soup is so good. Um, there's a choice of a, of a hundred thousand of these, but this one on Soy 20 in Sukhumvit is my favorite one. So I'm gonna grab this. You can have a look at that and then I'm going to show you a few more things that you could do during the day. Okay, so a quick look at this absolutely delicious chicken rice. Uh, don't forget to add your chilies. Uh, the soup is really good as well. But yeah, I mean look, this is uh, 60 baht, so it's around £1.50, maybe $2 for our American friends. I mean, I'm going to eat this and I probably won't eat again for the rest of the day, so or at least until dinner. Um, you know, like this is how cheap it can be living here. Uh, and it's, it's just amazing. One thing you could say about Bangkok is it has some absolutely stunning parks. This one was finished last year. And it's quite a flex really because the, the land that this is on is worth absolute billions. And instead of using that for development and to build more properties and, and hotels and to make money from it. The government and the king decided to give the people a, an absolutely beautiful park. Um, and there's no profit in it for them, which is just a miracle in modern days. Like there's no governments that do that, it seems. So yeah, and the people love this park. You know, it's free to come, it's relaxing. It's got this beautiful lake. There's a cycle track, there's running tracks. They have uh, exercise equipment. It's honestly, it's just an amazing park. And uh, it's, yeah, really nice to just come here during the day. Um, this is the running track. Um, yeah, like, I, honestly, I, I, I think this park, I think Lumpini is also a beautiful park. It has the uh, water lizards and, you know, lots to see. They have boats for you to ride around on. And yeah, they're, and they're just a beautiful oasis middle of like what's really a crazy city and uh, I came here early in the morning I mean it, it's eight o'clock in the morning right now and it's, it's 29 degrees already which is uh, 85 ish for, for Americans who are watching um, and that's at eight o'clock in the morning but by, by the middle of the day it will be about 35 maybe 36 so almost touching 100 again for Americans um, but yeah, like you know, they've got some buildings around and the big lake. And then on the other side, there's actually a huge green area as well. So people can come here and see it. And you know, there's shady areas. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really nice place. Um, and it's probably a good chance for me to, to kind of talk about actual expenses while you're living here. Um, so for a one bedroom flat, you for water and electricity. Electricity is around 30 pounds a month, uh, which would be about $45. And your water is about seven pounds a month, which uh, I think is about $10. So that's half what I would pay in the UK already. Um, and as I was talking about the heat, if you don't want to be outside in the heat, um, you want to stay home or you know in the air conditioning or you, know, you can go to coffee shops, whatever. But if you decide to stay home, um, home comforts like Netflix are around three dollar, three pounds, three pounds a month, three pound fifty a month, uh, which is about five dollars a month. Uh, I do believe there are cheaper packages which are a lower definition. Um, obviously, the more you pay, you can pay higher, you can pay a lot more and get like Ultra HD. But I think the basic package is yeah something like three pounds fifty a month. And it's all the same stuff that you would get anywhere, plus like some Thai movies and uh, just TV shows, a lot of stuff about food. You know, so it's pretty reasonable, you know, your monthly outlays are probably gonna be cut in half. So, you know, that's pretty good, right? Um, but yeah, it does get really, really hot. And if you're, if you're in the park, it's nice because this lake's got a really nice breeze. Obviously you can't feel that on the camera, but if you're in the city, and there's so much traffic um, it can feel at least five degrees higher which is uh, quite quite aggressive you know you you will sweat um, unless you know how to find the air conditioning wherever you're going so 
things to take into consideration when you think about moving somewhere. You know, it seems like, oh, the weather's great every day, but, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit too hot. Um, and there's also, they have a rainy season, which can be very, very wet. Um, it's quick, like you'll get storms for about an hour, but they'll drop, you know, a month's worth of rain. And uh, yeah, it can get pretty intense as well. All the taxis stop, all the bikes stop, no one's moving around. If you've got plans, you're just gonna cancel them. So if you're planning to open a business which relies on customers, the wet season can cause a few problems. So take that into consideration. No one's gonna tell you that in the in the, in the books. They, they just sort of give you all the highlights, but there are some downsides, especially if you're running a business. Um, yeah, so just take everything into consideration. It's nice that they have cleaners everywhere as well. Like this park is kept spotless. You can see how spotless this park is. Like the only thing that's like on the floor is this flower that's fell out of this tree. So, you know, again, it's just, it's just lovely, you know? You're not allowed to smoke in these parks either. Um, Actually, you've probably seen enough of the park. You've probably heard me talking for long enough. And while we're on the subject of smoke, I'm gonna stop here and then I'll start again when I'm back onto that subject. One other thing which I forgot to mention, they also have, for you pet lovers, a dog park. There's dogs get their own park as well here. I mean, you know, think about privileged. So yeah, so like this is their own little park and it's got, all sorts of things in there they're just run around and looking at everything and you know it's not exactly massive but hey like they've got their own park so yeah nice huh so you may have noticed from some of my airport videos that i'm a smoker um cigarettes here are super super cheap uh, i think it's something like 72 baht for a packet um, of uh, camel um which is about uh two pounds something like that um, but also what a lot of people don't know is that cannabis is legal here at the moment um, like actual cannabis not just CBD products actual cannabis um, and it's very high grade they, they use medical marijuana in most places uh, because the law is fluctuating between uh, is it legal for medical or is it legal for uh, personal consumption Everybody grew medical just in case the law changed. So it's super strong. Um, the reason you probably haven't seen any influencers doing any videos about this is because they're all zonked out on the couch watching Netflix for three pounds a month. I mean, there's, it's just so cheap. I don't smoke weed, so like, you know, it doesn't benefit me in any way. But they do, um, you can either buy bags, like a lot, or you can just buy a single joint and just, you know, smoke away the day. I think a single joint is around seven pounds and I think a, a bag is around 30, which is high from what I gather compared to black market stuff in your own country, but you're getting a super high grade. Um, and so, yeah, it's something that's available. Another thing that you can do if, if that's your, your, your deal, yeah, come here, buy weed, get a massage, relax, chill. If you're a pleasure seeker, Thailand is the place for you to come. 